Welcome to the session on Kanban methodology. Let us see the learning outcome. At the end of this session, the students will be able to describe the Kanban methodology or Kanban board for software development. What is Kanban? Kanban is a Japanese word that literally means visual card or Kanban board. Kanban terms came into existence using the flavor of visual card or sign board or billboard signaling system to indicate a workflow that limits work in progress. Kanban has been used in lean production for over half century. Kanban helps to visualize workflow, limit work in progress, measure the lead time. Visualize the workflow. It split the entire work into defined segments or states, visualized as named columns on a wall. Write each item on a card that and put in a column to indicate where the item is in the workflow. Limit work in progress assigns explicit limits to how many items can be in progress at each workflow segment or state. That is, work in progress is limited in each workflow state. Measure the lead time. Lead time also known as cycle time is the average time to complete one item. Measure the lead time and optimize the process to make the lead time as small and predictable as possible. This concept of Kanban is a direct implementation of a lean pull scheduling system an item can move to the next segment or state only when it obtains a slot in there. Let us see the Kanban lean in practice. The implementation of Kanban as well as other lean manufacturing methods such as Kaizen can have a significant benefits for almost any type of work. Kanban is more effective because it visually indicates when the production should start and stop. It is faster, more efficient and saves significant money over most other production models. It is also for more directly responsive to customer demand. To overcome the challenges of having too much work and not enough time to take a step back, many teams have found Kanban method to be a good starting point. Kanban offers a systematic approach to identifying opportunities for improving efficiency. Due to its affiliation, with Agile development, Kanban has become a popular tool for software development teams. Kanban is different from other project management methodologies such as Scrum, Extreme Programming or the Waterfall approach in that it does not use time boxed iterations. A time boxed iteration is a set period of time in which a project phase must be completed. Instead, the Kanban system relies on the continuous delivery of products that are geared towards meeting the expectations of customers. One benefit of practicing Kanban is that if the customer's expectations are not being met, a team has multiple opportunities 
to give direction for course correction during the iteration. Kanban is based on iterative work or the work that is done in small segments so as to reduce the amount of rework should any changes occur. For this reason, customers of a team practicing Kanban can provide a honest feedback and request the change during a particular iteration while preserving the timeline and keeping the budget in check. Now let us pause the video for a while and answer the question. A Kanban system is a work scheduling system that dash the productivity of a team by reducing the idle time. The options are maximizes or minimizes. The answer is a Kanban system is a work scheduling system that maximizes. So the option A is correct that maximizes the productivity of a team by reducing the idle time. Idle time can occur within any process workflow or procedures and can usually be traced back to opportunities within the process itself. Let us see the scenario for Kanban method in practice. So how we can use this Kanban method for software development so that we can see with the some scenario. Kanban is developed by Toyota in 1950 for manufacturing However, it has since been applied to number of industries including construction, architecture, software development and even personal time management. A well planned Kanban board that keeps all of your team members collaborating and informed so they can discuss each other and it's a collaborative team. In many cases, a digital Kanban system or any product along with the thoughtful participation can eliminate the need for dreaded weekly status report in its most basic form. A Kanban board has just a few columns such as to do, in progress and completed. So to maintain our personal the time management even our daily life also we can use the such uh, columns to do in progress and completed. For any digital system or uh, any software product any number of columns can be created to uh, reflect how workflows through your organization after a board is come created all the necessary contributors are invited to participate on the board this creates a small but dynamic working group depending on the nature of your business you might invite an engineer and others stakeholders in most cases the board participation list will include at least one or more product owners in a small company. The product owner might be the business owner in large organization. It might be a project manager. Generally, it is the role of product owner to maintain an authoritative list of work items that needs to be accomplished in order to complete a project. In Kanban system, these work items are represented on the board with the tasks or cards. So if you compare with our uh, personal time management, we can say it's a number of tasks that we can include in the, the number of item in the to-do list. So they are sometimes also called as user stories. In Agile, we call these work item or tasks called as user stories. Kanban board often contains a backlog 
that we can call is uh, the collection of items the backlog or user stories is sorted and prioritized list of tasks that are not yet ready to be worked the backlog even contains a brainstorming cards as work becomes ready for the team the part owner moves the task from backlog to the to do column in the digital system or for any product in kanban system the topmost card is the most as a result there is no confusion as to which task needs to be worked next as the work begins the card is pulled out of the to do column and placed into the in progress column during its journey through the board participants can add notes change the ownership and even invite others to participate so this lets everyone on the board know exactly what is going on at any given time one by one the card moves from the backlog on to by one the card moves from the backlog on to the board the team members continue to pull cards from one column to the next as the items are worked when the backlog becomes empty when the backlog becomes empty and all the cards are in the completed column the project is done these are the following uh, references i refer thank you